very good morning students so today we are starting with our very first animal in the syllabus which is amoeba proteus as the species indicates proteus is the name of a god which can change its shape so amoeba can also change its shape so it has got no fixed shape or size so that's why the species of the amoeba is proteus now the phylum of amoeba is protozoa so protozoa means proto means small and zoa means animals so these are very very small animals which are present in water specifically fresh water and you can see it in a drop of water we are talking about the structure of amoeba in this particular lecture so first of all we should know that it has a large number of pseudopodia so these are the protruding structures which are present in the body of amoeba so they help in traveling from one place to another so these are the locomotory organs of amoeba so this is a single pseudopodium that is another pseudopodium this is another pseudopodium this is next pseudopodium so there are various pseudopodia in the body of amoeba by which it travels now coming inside amoeba has got an outer membrane which is called as the plasma membrane so this is the limiting membrane of amoeba now if we go inside this membrane we have got the cytoplasm so this cytoplasm is divided into two parts outer cytoplasm is called as ectoplasm and the inner cytoplasm is the endoplasm so if we see in the inner side of the amoeba the whitish part so this is the endoplasm if you go on the outer side this is the ectoplasm all over the body so that was about the cytoplasm now if we come inside the cytoplasm you can see a very well defined nucleus in the center so as an amoeba is a eukaryote so it has a well defined nucleus with the nuclear membrane so this is the nucleus in the center so around the nucleus we can see large number of food vacuoles so amoeba is always eating something so these are the food vacuoles this is the first food vacuole this is another food vacuole this is the third food vacuole so these food vacuoles have got some food inside them they are also called as gastrosomes and this food can be solid or liquid if it is solid it can be some animal like paramecium amoeba can eat paramecia <clears throat> and if it is uh, a liquid food it can be some fat droplet or some oil droplet so after food vacuoles there are some other round structures so this is a big round structure these are some of the small structures which are the contractile vacuoles so the big one is a vacuole and the small one is the vesicle so small contractile vesicles they join together to form a big contractile vacuole and the function of these vacuoles is to take out the extra water from the body of the amoeba so they take out they are filled with the water which is present in amoeba and they take out this water and throw it out so that's why the amoeba is protecting itself from bulging up so this is a protection mechanism and they help in osmo regulation so i'll be talking about these all structures in the coming lectures so this is the basic structure of amoeba proteus so now i am showing you a, a real diagram or a real picture of amoeba uh, from a microscope 
so we can see all these structures in that particular picture also so let us see that picture so this is the picture so these are the real amoebae in life and this is a real picture of two amoebae which are wandering in a drop of water so if you concentrate on this particular amoeba the first one this particular bulged part is the this is the nucleus and this is the nucleus of the second amoeba and if you see this crater like thing so we can see these kind of structures also in the moon the craters so this is a contractile vacuum which is filling out the water and is throwing it out so these are the contractile vacuoles if you see this particular structure this is a food vacuole so it is having some food in it so this is a food vacuole this is also a food vacuole this is also a food vacuole so these are all food vacuoles this particular part it is a pseudopodium which is helping in the traveling of earthworm or it is locomoting with the help of pseudopodia so this is again a pseudopodium another so this is another pseudopodium now how they are formed i will be talking about it later on but here I want to show you the ectoplasm and endoplasm so if you see this particular pseudopodium in a zoom I am zooming in so if you see this particular pseudopodium here you can clearly see the outer part is the ectoplasm this part is ectoplasm and the inner part is the endoplasm so this is a very beautiful diagram of amoebae so if we recall the structure of amoeba first of all it has got a plasma membrane then it has got pseudopodia it has got a nucleus in the very center it has got food vacuoles and it has got contractile vacuoles cytoplasm is divided into endoplasm and ectoplasm so that was the structure of amoeba proteus thank you